Hey, VR friends, VR shooters. Virtual Rifle Systems with a quick, quick tutorial on mounting the force tube haptic module, Explorer Edition, to the Virtual Rifle Systems Mark III. There are two options available on the website. On the, website. the first option is bracket only, and the second option is bracket with replacement butt plate. I'm referring to this as the butt plate, or butt plate and butt plate housing. Um, not sure what force tube calls it. For reference, if you had a pro tube, you would mount that as such. So you take the standard stock butt stock off, and it would mount. The pro tube would mount to this portion. For the Mark III, it's a little different. And so we created this bracket, and this is what connects to our rifle. So, mounting the bracket, we're providing three screws, two half inch, one one inch screw. Uh, I seem to have misplaced one of the half inch screws. So we're just gonna use two screws, but you would be putting three in. So two half inch screws go in first up top here. Slide that in, line that up. Find a tool. Screw that in as such. Then you'd screw the second one in uh, there, obviously. Hopefully the whole thing doesn't fall apart. Screw the second one in. Once you have the second one in, you take the second part of the bracket and it's going to slide in there. The camera doesn't like that. So I'm going to take it out of picture and slide it into place. Should be good to go. Second screw goes through there. We provide an Allen key. Ours is, yours will be a little shorter. Mine's a little longer, so I gotta get it to go this way. Just drive that home. And there you go. The bracket is mounted to the haptic module. And then you can obviously Slide. I'd slide it into this AKM, but it's a little bit harder to that butt stock. Shoulder stock is a little tighter than. So there is the Mark III. Just slide that in place. Put your thumb screw back in. Tighten it down. Camera shot is not very good. Screwing that back down. But there you have it. The haptic module is mounted to the Mark III. Um, so you can see we've got the force tube butt plate still in place. However, option two, if you want to move their butt plate and put ours on that's pretty straightforward as well i'm going to take this off the rifle just to make it a little a little easier get rid of that all right mounting the butt plate there are going to be six screws I took them out earlier. Six screws here. You need to remove those six screws. It's uh, Phillips, a Phillips head. And I believe there will be one here as well. So seven screws total. I've taken these things apart so many times I don't have all the screws. But So remove six screws, possibly seven. 
and carefully so this butt plate actually is mounted inside there you want to just take that off and make sure you hold that together because there are springs in here that you're going to use so we can this kind of rotates out lift it out this way and you see the two springs sitting there don't lose those springs you're going to use those so we're going to take the springs out set the pro tube butt plate butt plate housing aside take the virtual rifle systems butt plate housing and there are two there are two slots for those to sit in right here and here so your springs will set those down inside there I don't know if the camera will pick it up one of my springs is a little bent me smashing it in place but it still works so the springs are installed in the virtual rifle systems butt plate housing ours is similar to theirs you're going to hold it at an angle so that end dipped down slide it down in there make sure you're not catching your springs you might need to depend on what's going with your springs make sure they hug the edge here this one seems to be what the hell Let's see if I can do this looking at it this way there we go there are two little I'll show you on theirs these little nibs right here so the spring sits over that there's the same the same thing is on ours so that is installed good to go and that's what gives you your haptic so now we're taking this and we're going to slide it on to the haptic module so you see where those two rods are going to go here and here in these linear bearings slides in just like that voila We'll take our six screws. For me, two screws. For you, six or seven. So you're just going to repeat that. Don't over tighten. Um, just don't over tighten. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six screws there, one here, optionally, and you have the bracket with the replacement butt plate. That's it. That's all there is to it. There will be a uh, point out here. We'll put a, um, a GrovTech um, swivel base there so you'll be able to put your sling. That's it. Have a happy day.